Hey guys, my name is Syntax and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a sword in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. Uh, to start off with, we can get a sword model from the toolbox. You can make your own if you like. I just prefer to do this. We're going to grab the Roblox sword. Again, this does not matter. Okay, now that we have that, we just want to make sure that it's gripped properly. So open up tool grip editor and make sure it's held properly. If not, you can um download tool grip editor and change it it's in the description of the video next what we want to do is actually animate make an animation for the sport so we can go to avatar click rig builder and make a block avatar next we can open up the animation editor panel then we can click on this and make uh, animation we'll just call this sword slash and create now i already have an animation that i've made so i'm just gonna import that uh just a basic hit not much after you're done animating you want to click three dots here and click set animation priority and set it to action that's very important then you want to just click publish to roblox and you want to publish it and uh, you want to copy this ID here and close. Now, before we get coding, we're just going to see if this um animation looks good. So we're just going to go into the sword script and change the animation ID to this. Again, we will be writing our own sword script later. But for now, just to check that it looks good. And oh, we've got to wait for it to load. And yeah, that looks fine for us. All right. Now, let's get started writing our script. Uh, to start off, we can close the animation editor, just switch that output. Uh, we can delete everything in here except for the handle and all the stuff inside. I mean, I'm going to delete this, but you can use the noises if you want. So all you should have is the tool, the part or handle and the mesh. Yep. Now we are going to add in a script and we can call this sword handler. Next, we need to define some stuff. So we can start off by defining the sword and the handle. Then we need to also add in the animations. So inside the sword, we can add in a folder all this animations. And then inside this, we can add an animation, not an animator, an animation. And we can set what is this i'll just search it up. oh this data thing is not okay it works okay and then in the animation you just want to paste in the animation id you copied earlier then we can define the animations folder and you can define our slash animation and let's make sure to rename that to slash animation uh animations folder colon wait for child slash animation then we want to define two variables can damage local can damage and has damage uh, and yes okay uh i am defining it like this which is basically the same as just doing this on two separate lines but i prefer to do it like that since these are pretty much used for the same thing we can say local damage to deal and we can like, make and now and then in our sword we can make an attribute called um, slash damage this is how much damage we're going to deal with one slash attack and i'm just going to set that to 10 and then we are going to say local slash damage equals sword colon get attribute slash damage also um i will explain the damage to deal thing and the can damage has damage later just like stick with me for now and for this you can use a normal variable if you like i just prefer to use attributes then we're going to say local player local character and local humanoid and since this is um a server side script we can't actually get these values right now if that makes sense so like we can't figure out which place has this word for now so that's going to be blank now we can get to work on some functions the first function will trigger when the sword is a equipped so like when i um equip the sword so like when i activate not activate so like when i have the sword in my backpack and then i click one to like hold the sword that's when this is going to trigger you can set the character that we defined earlier to sword.parent because when you equip a weapon like 
let's say i equip a weapon it's gonna go inside my character like that and then we can get the player by doing game dot players colon get player from character and then here we can just put character and then for the humanoid the local there the humanoid we can just say character colon wait for child humanoid and that's done we can minimize that um then we can also say actually no uh yeah and then we can make a function to actually attack so we're just gonna say damage to deal equals slash damage basically what this damage to deal thing is is uh let's say i have three like different attacks for my sword um, and they all do different types of damage and uh, later when we call the damage function it's gonna deal damage based um like it's gonna deal damage based on the damage to deal thing so like in the when we're attacking we're just setting the damage to deal to the correct attack so like if i had a function called like say i had a function called no, lunge then damage to be would be lunge damage like let's say lunge damage was 15 so i would deal 15 damage if i hit with this um if that doesn't make sense i will try and explain it a bit later later okay then we want to check if the slash animation is there if it is not we can warn no um animation named slash animation in uh animations folder for sword name uh you obviously don't have to do this i just like to because it's easier for people to understand later if there's issues and so we have the slash animation now we have like the animation item and now basically what we need to do is we need to prep the animation that we need to set it into the player so we can say local track equals humanoid colon load animation slash animation and that preps the animation then we're gonna do track colon play and this plays the animation we're gonna put can damage to true and then we're gonna wait for the track to stop so we're going to wait for the animation to stop then we're going to put can damage to false and we're going to put has damaged to false so basically what this is is um can damage um can damage means like if it touches the player if it can damage them so like let's say i just have the sword equipped i haven't like done an attack i just like walk up to them and i touch them like the sword just like touches against them then i can't damage since i haven't done an attack so that's not gonna take health away and then has damaged is like when i'm attacking like obviously the sword is gonna touch the player like more than once during the animation so like we're just checking if it's if it's already touched the player and if it's not we're gonna attack and then if it has we're not going to like take damage from them again so basically this is to stop it from dealing more than one damage per hit and this is to stop it from dealing damage when it's not an attack if that makes sense okay and then now we can actually make a function to deal damage so function deal damage and then in here we're going to put hit hit is the part that this would touch and we can say local hit character equals hit dot parent and then hit because hit is the body part here and then the parent would be the character model then we're going to say if hit character is equal to character then return end this is gonna stop the this is gonna stop they're not gonna this makes it so that if they somehow like hit themselves it's not gonna deal damage with themselves and then we're also going to check if this is actually a character so we're checking if they have a human or root part if they don't it's likely not a character and we're not gonna deal damage we're also gonna make sure that we, we're also gonna check if we can damage them like if can damage is equal to true so if it's not true then we are going to stop and if we have already damaged them we are going to stop this then we are just going to say hit character but humanoid pull on take damage and then the damage we want them to take is can be damage to deal and then has damaged is equal to true so we've damaged them already and that's why we are resetting it down here and now all that's left to do is uh connect these so they trigger so we can say sword dot equipped 
colon connect on equip and we can say sword dot activated colon connect attack so activate is like when i press my mouse and then sword handle dot touched make sure it's handle and not just the sword colon connect function actually no, colon connect deal damage and then the hit parameter like the party hits already automatically passed so we don't need to do that and let's go test it out okay so let's go animation works and the hit also works and then if we walk up to them it does not hit them that's good and i'm just gonna kill them off like this okay so uh if you like the video please like if you want to watch more subscribe um i will be starting a discord server soon make sure to join that and if you want to test this out there is a link to the showcase in the description of the video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one